Welcome back to The Morning Blood. This is the Mercy's Light Family Maternity Home in Kenya. It was recently built by an organization based right here in Wisconsin. The home transforms the lives of girls who are in a pregnancy crisis and have been through sexual trauma. Joining us with more information is Michelle Weisheim. She is from the organization Infinitely More Life, along with Danny Fossman, who has got all the details about a special event to raise money for Mercy's Light. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I can't you. not acknowledge that you're Mrs. Wisconsin as well. I know. It's been a privilege. It's been an absolute journey. Um, and I'm enjoying every single moment until May 30th when I crown the next winner. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. I can't believe it's coming to an I end. Know. It seems like you were just crowned. So congratulations. Talk a little bit about this organization and a little bit about what life is like for, for pregnant teens who are going through that crisis in Kenya. You know, life in Africa is completely different. You know, we get the luxury of being able to run to a grocery store store and grab the items we need. Um, things are different as far as, you know, there is no grocery store. They have to live off their land. And unfortunately, when girls are pregnant, um, they don't have the resources or the means to be able to get the help that they need. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to really make a big difference there. And in addition to that, we're helping women here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin as well. It's great. You hear such horrible things yeah. too about children being abandoned, they're alone, they're afraid. Um, you mentioned teen pregnancy, um, babies even oh. abandoned by the side of the road, which is just so sad. Um, so what is it exactly that you do? Okay, well what we're doing is we're actually opening, we opened a center called, it's a pregnancy crisis center right in Kenya, Africa. We are welcoming those women to come into our center and we're providing a three year program for them. So instead of when these women are pregnant, not by choice, they don't have to take those drastic measures. They can come in, we provide educational services, we give them some vocational services, also making sure that they have an education to build a business and have that mm. ability to sustain a normal lifestyle. And in addition to those three years that we provide them with all the resources, we're also engaging their family back with them. So that way they don't, they have a family to go back to. Mm -hmm. So the maternity home itself is called Mercy's Light? Correct. Is that right? Okay, so that's that's where the name comes from too. Um, how, in terms of, I know you said that you're, you're giving all these tools, how else do you empower young girls? Well, what we're doing is we have an educator that works with them one-on-one -on -one to learn what trade. So you may be the best dressmaker out there, but if you don't know how to run a business or have yeah. that business ability and knowledge, you're not gonna go very far. So we're helping with the traumatic experience of if these girls were raped. We're providing those skills that are made one-on-one -on -one for the women, and we're keeping them for several years so that way they can go about and make a great life. That's great. Yeah, empowerment is so huge, mm -hmm. and you can tell. Tell us about the event that you're planning to help support this. Well, um, with Guitar for Life Studio, we've got um, about 20 students uh, you know, almost two dozen students that are going to play with rock bands on Saturday night at Saloon on Calhoun. Fun! It, it's so much fun. It's, it's the greatest thing that we do. It, it's, it's, we've been doing this now for the, this is our fifth year. Uh, we've got Six Pack Sammy, uh, Jackie <laughs> Brown, uh, the Killer Clowns, Jesse Marie and the Rippers, uh, myself, uh, a, a couple of extra special guests that I can't really bring up right here. You don't have a crazy name though for yourself like all the others? <laughs> no, oh, okay. no, just, <laughs> just jamming for Kenya. Um, it's at Saloon on Calhoun on Saturday night. Uh, we start at five o'clock. Yeah. We have kids from six years old playing all the way to 65 years old. Um, playing with these rock bands and having a good time raising money. You know, we fund this. We this is what we do. We just do this show just for them. All the all the proceeds go to infinite, infinitely more life, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we love it. It's so much fun. Dave Taylor and Janine over at Saloon just love having us there. It's a great night all night. It starts at five o'clock. You've and, done it before, right? Yeah, this is our fifth one. Yeah, fifth year for Jam. For fifth, fifth year, uh, we've raised. I think now we're over 50 grand, you know. Congratulations. So, so we're really, really working hard for them, and the, and the students love it. We love doing it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and, and everybody gets to play in front of this big, huge crowd with all the lights 
in, you know, in the sound. Yeah. You know, they get to be rock stars, and they get to, you know, it's I guess it's Women's International Women's Day sure on is. Sunday. Half, sure half, is. half of the it. students, half of the students are girls That's cool. that are playing. So right. we're we're pretty proud of that as well. What does this bag represent? What is this? Actually, that's one of our items that our women at the Pregnancy Crisis Center have made. It's so beautiful. We'll have a couple of those items. That, that is gorgeous. Isn't it great? And the yeah. fact that they made that all from This is hands. all beaded. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And some other bags right. there, really too. Pretty. So, and they the do. Weaving. They make shirts and they'll make bags and little cosmetic bags. They are some of the most talented women that I have seen. Gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely. And they'll be available to, mm -hmm. at the at the show, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. All right, so Jammin' for Kenya, you can head on out this Saturday. It's from 5 to midnight. You can learn more at mercyslight.org. And again, it's at Saloon on Calhoun, which is right on Capitol Drive and Calhoun Road in Brookfield. So make sure you head on out, have a great time, and celebrate a very important cause. Thanks for being here, both of you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.